beautiful people welcome back to my channel so I'm not gonna waste any time today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how wigs grew this beautiful afro right here um, I've been natural since I was 14 it's been like up and down journey I cut my hair all the time like literally all the time whenever I feel stressed out or um, just need some relief I end up cutting my hair and I cut it like really short to like, to like this much so the last time I did that was last year in August I think um, I did it for a number of reasons one I was feeling kind of stressed out and so I just like <sighs> And <laughs> the second reason was because my ends were, like, I don't know, I had this really nice fro, but you could see through it, the ends were just, um, but I am completely natural, this is, this is my hair in its natural state, and it's the healthiest that it has been in a long time. It's not see-through, as you can see, it's like, perfect. Um, it's not even in its fully stretched state. Yeah, it's, it's just thriving and the reason for that is because of the hairstyles that I do. Now I used to braid my hair and that really helped but braids take forever, I don't have the time. Shedding. shedding. If you've had braids in for like two, three months, there's hair that needs to shed, right? And so if the braids are too tight or split or whatever, you can end up losing a lot of hair. Then I used to crochet braid my hair, um, you guys have seen those videos and it was cool but that takes a lot of time as well. So wigs. The next best thing and i really didn't know that it was growing my hair that much like the method that i use makes sure that one i do not break my ends two i don't break off my edges and or pull or tear on my edges because you know we need we need to keep we need to keep the edges my edges need to be secure <laughs> okay clap for your girl clap clap for your girl because her edges are intact with all these wigs that people are like, hey, it's gonna pull out your edges and <laughs> no, none of that. None of that's gonna happen if you do what I do to my hair. Well, it's worked for me, so I'm assuming that it worked for other people. Um, and it's just been growing. Probably by the end of the year, I would say it should be twice this length. Um, because this is this is from August, August, September, October, November, December, January. The six months. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the braiding pattern that I do in my hair and how I put on my wig to make sure that I don't have any breakage, don't have any damage to my hair and just make sure that it thrives. Now most people braid their hair going all the way back when they cornrow their hair for their wigs. That for me is a no-no. I have 4C hair and my edges are very fragile and I do not use those clips, those combs that come in the wigs. Uh -uh. That is gonna pull on your edges and pull your hairline back and you're gonna get traction alopecia and we don't want that. Okay, so the first thing that I do is separate my hair into, oh, and never comb your hair out when it's dry. Sometimes if I feel like I need a little bit of a sealant with the moisture, I put in some oil, maybe some castor oil or avocado oil, depending on what I need. But this is just water. I spritz it down. And I get ready for the shrinkage. I take the front bit out. And this is to protect my edges. So they form anchor braids for the wig. And I also take the back out. And then I go ahead and braid this as normal. So just braid this going all back. I get a little bit of hair melt. And I comb it out with this brush. I'm sure you guys have heard of this brush, the Denman brush. I like it because it doesn't break my hair, yet it detangles. Okay, and then I just go ahead and break that. I don't worry about the ends so much. You can just twist them, twirl them, whatever you want to do. Great, so I've done all the cornrows. Now I need to secure the front. So I secure the wigs to the front of my hair here. But what I realized is when I used to do that, this bit of my hair used to break, so I don't corner my hair like this anymore. I corner it going all the way around. So I start from about here, and I literally just braid it back. And then I grab all of that, and I corner them into themselves. Thank you. 
And that is it, people. That's the style. I get some of the hair milk again, and then I just spritz the whole thing. And then I get some Moroccan oil or some uh, olive oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, whatever you want. Now I can go ahead and put my wig on. You guys have seen me put my wigs on a thousand times, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it anyway. This is from Sunbur Hair, and I've had this wig for a couple months now, almost three or four months, and it still is one of my go-tos. It's quite luxurious. And I put a band in the back. I don't wanna glue this wig down today. I just wanna pop it on and go, so band in the back works. Get yourself a wig cap. Now I'm gonna style this wig. As you can see, it looks a little bit crazy because I haven't styled it yet. But um, once I do, it's gonna look really good. I'm just gonna brush out the hair. I mean, it is a lace closure, it's ear to ear. So if you wanna style it differently, you can. You can have half up, half down. But I just want something simple today. Look at that curl. I think this hair's held up really, really well, considering that I don't really take care of it that well. Which I should, but. This is a wig that I actually made. So I got the bundles from Sunbur Hair and the lace front closure, and I just sewed it onto a wig cap. And yeah. Okay, you guys, and the wig is now curled. I'm just gonna comb it out a bit. I like these kind of loose, bouncy curls because it gives me a kind of work mode slay that I like. It's not too sassy, but also sexy and glam at the same time. And look at this hair, it's really, really shiny. If I want it to be a little more secure, then of course, yes, I will glue it down, spray it down, do whatever, do my got to be glued thing, and yeah, off we go. But for now, that's all I wanted to do to it. When I take the wig off at night, I do spritz my hair down and I sleep in a silk cap. I leave my cornrows in for about a week to two weeks and then I wash my hair deep condition and put my cornrows back in again. I try to do as little manipulation to my natural hair as possible and then I bring them out again in the summertime. If you're managing to pull it on your wig, you're fine, you're fine. It's not going anywhere. That band in the back will secure it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, all I do when I need to take the wig off, obviously because it's not glued down, I just pull, take it off. Or if it's glued down, you make sure you spray in the front and then rub it in to get the got to be glued spray off your head. That's what I use. I don't use like wig glue. I just use gel. So if I spray in some water and really rub it in, it will come off. I don't really bring my hair out in winter just because it's cold and my hair gets really brittle. Um, I don't want it to break off. But in the summer, it's nice and warm and my hair can just flourish and just be out there as long as it doesn't rain. <laughs> but that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.